Russian authorities say a gunman has killed 15 people and wounded 24 others at a school in central Russia. 11 children among those who were killed in this morning's attack. Officials say that gunman committed suicide. And this attack comes as backlash grows over a new military draft ordered by President Vladimir Putin there. ABC's Elizabeth Schulde explains the latest. An exodus out of Russia. Tens of thousands are fleeing after President Vladimir Putin announced a new military draft for the war in Ukraine. Video posted online by an independent Russian news outlet shows hundreds lining up to cross into neighboring Georgia, that country now closing its borders to men of fighting age. At a military draft office in Siberia, chaos after a gunman opened fire. Others are taking to the streets to protest as resentment toward Putin builds. What you are seeing in the streets right now is a deep unhappiness with what Putin is doing because he has been lying to his people all along. Putin last week ordered 300,000 reservists with military expertise to fight in Ukraine and announced staged referendum votes to try to annex parts of the country. In the town of Izium in Ukraine, recently freed from Russian forces, this woman is speaking out against the referendum, <inaudible> saying, I need Ukraine to be part of Ukraine. With the war now dragging into its seventh month, its toll is on full display, many with no electricity heading into the winter. Ukraine's first lady in an interview with ABC News with this message to the American people. Please never stop your support. It's crucial, important for us. It's vital. The U.S. today announced nearly half a billion dollars in civilian security aid to Ukraine. UNICEF says humanitarian needs are greatest in eastern Ukraine, where child poverty rates top 55 percent. Elizabeth Schulze, ABC News, Washington.